What's up YouTube? This is Out of Step from DorkFeast.com. Today we bring you Telltale's new game, A Wolf Among Us. This game takes place, uh, looks like somewhere in New York or something, and all the fairy tale characters have left their worlds and have kind of come together in this city world and they basically use magic to make themselves look human. It's called Glamour. And you play the role of the big bad wolf. He is a detective um, trying to solve some of the crimes that are going on in the, in the city. Now this game will take place kind of like the Walking Dead series did. Um, it's done, done in like, uh, episodes. Basically there will be five episodes to complete the game. Currently the first episode is out. So here we start out. We are the big bad wolf coming out of our cab. They call him Big B. Here he is at the tenant building in South Bronx. He was called out by Toad, which is a landlord, for some disturbances he found. Mr. Toad? Oh, shit. Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I'll get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. Like most of the Telltale games, your decisions throughout the game will determine your gameplay through the future episodes. Look, no harm done. I'll give you a pass, but listen. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spout goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? Then get it fixed. It's not complicated, Toad. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't. Want me catching you here you can see he remembered that certain decisions and things you Fuck say will affect know. the gameplay and that's see? one of the cool this things I really like about this right, game uh, and all the other Telltale games uh, such as The Walking Do Dead because uh, you can play through it several times and get different place. reactions and have different bits of the story unlocked it's kind of getting me giving me a uh, different uh, game different experience each time you play this is the last straw big B he has to go So what set him off? Who knows why it was this time. Man's got a hair trigger. I avoid him as much as possible. When did he start drinking? Not sure he ever stopped. Fuck you! So now we're going upstairs to investigate up the disturbance. Furry prick job shite. Tell me how to spend my money. <laughs> Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get that fuck back inside. I really like the art style too. It's like you're playing a comic book. I like how they stepped away from this typical 3D model stuff and did the self shaded. You're gonna know who I fucking am, you hear me? Hey, look at me. You can find items along your way. Let's go. I'm sure they may, might play parts later on, like in the uh, other episodes, so you know, find what you can. Take a look. Take a good look. You know who I am now? Hey, look at me! Get off of me! Damn you! No way! Whoa, 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 hey, no. hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid <laughs> I'll fucking kill you! <laughs> you fucker! Alright, <laughs> you... What are you gonna fucking do, huh? 
Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. Woody, I'm gonna break your fucking face. Is that a fact? Yeah, that's a fact. You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. I like how it seamlessly goes in between cutscenes and these action scenes. To have the right responses during certain moments in order to win the fights or whatever. Watch me kill you. And it'll be her turn. <laughs> In case you haven't guessed it, this guy is the woodsman. He's the guy that saved Red Riding Hood from the big bad wolf in the fairy tales. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. You hear me? Hey, if you can't be nice, I'm gonna make you wait outside. Oh, fucking shit. You bugged my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. Fuck you. Shit. What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry. You saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off! Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. What are you doing here? These lips are sealed. Why was he hitting you? Maybe you should ask him that. I will, but I asked you first. He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hon? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of stones. And threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch! Hey, what did I say about that word? Come on! My car. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a second. Oh, no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. <sighs> Sorry about the car. We ended up going out the window. Couldn't be avoided. I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. But even when you help, things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. Uh. 
What are you doing? I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be fine. I'll kill you. You fucking bitch. Let me help you. <laughs> He's having a bad day. That makes two of us. I guess it's a good thing fables are hard to kill. Suppose it is. lips are sealed. Sorry. Hey, you like my ribbon? If you don't answer my questions, I can't help you. I'm answering them the best that I can. Feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. Shit. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. Looks like the axe man got away. He hit you. He needs to pay for that. He's got nothing to give, Sheriff, I checked. Besides, I just swung an axe into the guy's head. I'd say we're even. Maybe I should be arresting you. I'm not gonna be doing this for much longer. So, now's your chance. was the Oja. A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. I'll be fine. Let's see, I've got, uh, it's 20, 40, 7, 8, 58. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just take the money, okay? You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. 
Meet me back at my office, then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I... You live in the smallest apartment in the Woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. That's gonna leave a mark. Or maybe not. I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I'll see you around, Wolf. So as this first chapter is coming to an end, we have met a mysterious lady who will soon pay us a house visit. Kind of leaves things open, but just watch the other videos.